Okay, I've got control again. I have control of the aircraft. What I don't have is I don't have control of my filmmaking capacity. Because having made sure I got all of the cameras working and did a nice sound sync, I couldn't work out why things were sounding slightly differently. And then I worked out that I actually hadn't turned the recorder on. So we will have to have that conversation again in a minute or two. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Okay, so what I failed to record was the fact that I've got Eric on board. Uh, Eric has flown with me a number of times. There was a, an interesting trip where we went to Santa Mer and having crossed the channel and we were feet dry on the French side, he suddenly decided to stop and, uh, well, not stop, but undo his harness and take his life jacket off, which worried me a little bit because I thought he was... I thought he was getting out. But I suppose with that bank of, or this bank of cloud, it did actually make crossing the channel easier, because it did give a point of reference. Yeah. Are you getting out? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I don't think we're going to cross much water between here and Santa Maria. Uh, but we are on our way to Ruffham, to the fly-in there. Uh, it's typical. Yesterday was absolutely delightful, but I couldn't make it. So, here we are. We're, we're trying today. Um, forecast for later on today isn't going to be a, at all good. And you will notice that Eric's got my headset on, and I've got one of the old telex echelon. The reason being, Eric phoned me up last night and asked whether or not he could try out my headset because he wanted to uh, to try something slightly different. Uh, you're going to tell everybody in a minute about your hearing aid. Sorry, you're going to have to tell them again because it didn't work the other time. Um, but he wasn't sure whether or not the earbuds were going to work, bearing in mind he needed or he usually needs to have the hearing aid. But I'll, I'll let Eric tell you about that. Yeah, yeah. I can find it. So, that's what I usually have. And the, the microphone for the hearing aid part is on the back of the... Okay. ...back of the unit. And, of course, when you put your ear cups on, it, it effectively blinds the mic. Uh, and it's a bit of a kind of a hit and miss affair. Uh, I have to kind of shuffle around with the ear cups. Uh, but the fabulous difference with these clarities is that it just delivers it just delivers a sound exactly bang into your ear canal. Okay. Um, I'm not I'm not deaf. I I guess I've got about eighty five percent hearing, something like that. Yeah. Um, so I lose, I lose a bit of the top end, and of course that's where the, right, the, the, the you know, all those, all the sounds that separate words for you. Right. Well, it was interesting, because when I first asked Eric, he's my first, you know, I said, what are your first reaction? And he says, my first reaction is I'm 600 pound down, <laughs> which, I right. took, which I took it to mean that, yeah, he didn't, you know, he quite likes them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm sold, for sure, yeah. Uh, okay, that's good. I mean, the thing is, what we did do is we did change the earbuds uh, because they got screwing ends. Um, and I did point out that there are three different sizes. Um, and the grey ones that Eric's got in there at the moment are the, um, the medium which you think are about right for you. It feels fine, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Oh, the other thing, I, they're fabulously comfortable as opposed to brain squashes, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I don't feel like I've got a head cell. Uh, they, they are, they're, they're, they're brilliant. I mean, I, I do have a number of people who ask me, um, and I'm, I know they say YouTubers are, are influencers, etc., but I don't intentionally go out to promote a product. No. Although I will share with people what it is that, that I use. A number of people have said, well, you know, w how do I mount my iPad? Um, yeah, sure. What cameras do you use? And I mean, that's, as far as I'm concerned, just a learning process. So, and I suppose I was influenced by the fact that um, John has had one. And that is something else that's good, that actually I notice when I'm flying in the RV, if I've got that headset on, the intercom is better because they're matched. Yeah. Whereas sometimes if I've got this one, then it, it's not quite so good. Um, but, yeah, I think that there are some people out there, I mean, a lot of people will talk about the Bose as being the uh, be-all and end-all. Yeah, and, yeah. and fine, I can't comment. I have no way I can comment because no. I haven't tried them. Um, and for so many people to say that they like them, they've got to be good. But I have also heard people say that even, that was an interesting little side swipe, um, that even with the bows, after a while, you get that clamping effect on your head. Yeah, sure. um, if anybody wants to comment below, then fine, comment on that one. And um, again, I, I would like to point out that with the absolute best, you know, light speed Zulus, all the rest of it, for me, as a, as a pilot that has to wear hearing aids, it's the same story. The, the ear cu cushions will will obscure the mics on the you know, on right. the hearing aids. Um, what's great about these is it, I don't have my hearing aids in right now, uh, and I don't need them uh, because of the you know this is down went straight down the middle of my ear canal. Right, we are 11 miles out. I've been on safety com. I'm now going to put their frequency on just to see if there's anybody about. It is a very short flight, I appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when you said about being able to work something, I thought, well, it's my intention to come here today. So on that basis, you know, come over and hop in with me. Absolutely. Perfect idea. And w we can then... Uh, Combine. Yeah. Rotom Radio, go for Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel. Yankee Echo Hotel, uh, Go for Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is Jodel CR 1050 inbound to you from Nayland, five miles to run. Good morning, Nigel. Good morning, Tim. We're using 09 with a right hand circuit. QNH 1012. Overhead at 1500 and then drop into 09 right hand. Okay with that? Yep. Well, Echo Hotel is overhead 1500 feet. Echo Hotel, we have you in sight. Welcome back to Russell, mate. Thank you. And go for my congratulations to the downwind. Okay, got it. If you keep an eye on them, please. Golf Echo Hotel, downwind and contact one ahead. Echo Hotel, watch it. Point up. Yeah, 
air brake coming down. Nice clear approach, isn't it? Yeah. Well, apart from a multitude of houses. Well, yeah. <laughs> Radio call for the helmet of the Fox Lima overhead 50 feet from 0 1 2 and down with 0 5 right. Fox Lima, Rucker, and Echo Uniform, Uniform, I do have you both in sight. Bravo, Echo Uniform, Uniform is behind the target box. Uniform, Uniform. Uniform, Uniform, yes, look to that, then keep your own separation on final, please. Copy that, Uniform, Uniform. Go back at Hotel Night Final. Okay. Go back at Hotel, welcome back to Rotham. Take the next exit available to you and pick up the masters for parking instructions, please. Thank you very much. I'll do. Go back a hotel. Oh, we found it. Are you? Yeah. Oh, Sky didn't found it. <laughs> yeah. So, in terms of your headset, the flight was a success. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%. Good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a slight background noise, but not anywhere near as um, no, nothing. That's yeah. So is that ba basically better than you expected? Yeah, yeah, really. Um, like I say, I don't even feel like I've got a headset. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, it got a bit muddy hearing the replies, but that's. Yeah, well, I think that was that was them general. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it's the first time I've been here, so it's great. Uh, Golf Uniform, Uniform is final 09 to us. Uniform, Uniform, what's your... Uh... Right then. You can do Golf the break for me. Lima, welcome to Rutham. Take the next Thank available you. exit and pick up the masters for parking instructions, please. Sure, next available exit. Let's make it go quiet. Oh, much better. Go around turning everything off. Yep. Yeah, thank you very much. Quite right. And the oh last, well. th the last thing I'm going to turn off will be the cameras. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we all doing? Oh, oh, I'll turn the cameras off.
keeping an eye, checking all that. Just if you'd like to go to, to Windsor, checking down there, okay, and enjoy the. Uh, what do you make of that then? wasn't wasn't too wasn't too bad, but it's not not super brilliant, is it? Yeah. And you're happy with the new radio? Yeah, I'm going to play around with it. Have you had fitted? Right. Change this one. Yeah. It was a a com. Now it's a nav com. Okay. So it does ILS approaches and stuff. Bro. And that went in without too much trouble. Well, it took him all day to, to do it. Okay. Um, and the new antenna on the back. Yeah. And the new CB had to be fitted. Yeah. But you're pleased? Yep. Okay. Yep. Cup of tea? Love it. Yep. <laughs> I did it all the time, I just didn't get around to doing the exam because by that time they went on the airplane. Eric! Ruffham, formerly Royal Air Force Bury St Edmunds, was opened towards the end of 1942 as United States Air Force Station 468. Nissen Huts provided accommodation for over 3,000 personnel. After a spell of being the home to B-26 Marauders of the 322nd Medium Bomb Group, RAF Bury St Edmunds became the base for the B-17s of the 94th Heavy Bombardment Group. Their aircraft, with a square A on the tail fin, flew the last of their 324 missions on the 21st of April 1945. Hello. Hello Tim, how are you mate? I'm very good, thank you. I just think about it, last time I did this... It was in the RV, wasn't you, it? Yeah, you yes. just ar arrived in the three, hadn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you have a good trip? Really nice mate, yeah, cloud base is a bit rubbish at um, Grey Oakley. Yeah, it's... Is that a thousand feet? Yeah, it's pretty horrible. It's getting worse I think by the Well, they actually yeah. said that somebody from coming in from Lasham isn't going to arrive because it's really? absolutely tipping it down. Oh really? It's on the way, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's on the way, yeah. isn't it? So we're going to have a cup of coffee and then I'm see what's happening. Up, have a cup of coffee, have a wander around. And, yeah. And that's well, it. nice to see you again. Nice we're see you we're again over there. We're over there. If you okay, come no, over that way. Thank you for the Instagram post, Danny. It was good to meet up with you as well. In next week's video, we race the weather home, and Eric sent me this photo to show his new Clarity Aloft headset. Ordered lunchtime on the Monday and delivered lunchtime Tuesday.